guys welcome back to my channel so today I have a huge drugstore haul and I'm gonna get right into it because it's a lot of stuff so first I went to CVS I basically robbed CVS uh, if you shop there for beauty a lot you know what I'm talking about but you get so many of those extra bucks rewards which just count as money and you can use uh, coupons that you find on top of that so I got all this stuff for really cheap. Okay, so the first thing I got is the, what is this? Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Protector. This is like everyone's favorite heat protectant. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Next I got the Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation. And this is a very thick foundation. I haven't quite figured out how to work with it. It's not my favorite, but it's pretty good coverage. I picked up the wrong color, returned it, and got the wrong color again because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Next I got a nail polish. It's a base coat by Orly. This is the rubberized base coat bonder and I really really like this base coat. Next I got two Milani blushes. These were buy one get one 50% off which was awesome. So the first one is the powder blush in Romantic Rose. I guess I can do a swatch for you. They're super pigmented. Okay, there we go. It's beautiful. It's like just a really rich, rosy color. I have it on today. If you can see, I actually put it in the hollows of my cheeks as like a contour. I really, really love this blush. I love it. I'm in love. This next one is actually an illuminating face powder in Beauty's Touch. I thought the packaging was so pretty. This is a very subtle highlighter, but I do like it. Next I got Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. I wanted to give The Falsies another shot. I don't know why I picked this one up. I guess because it was new and like the packaging was pretty and I saw a commercial for it which really sold me but I hate this mascara. It claims to basically push up your lashes to make them look full and to give them lift. Okay but this mascara is so thick that it really weighs down your lashes. I don't know I have it on now you can just tell it's super clumpy but I'm not going to return it I'm going to use it because I just feel bad when I return products to the drugstore. And the last thing I got from CBS is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. I have been looking for these everywhere for months. This, unfortunately, is the only color that I liked. This is in Seduction, but this is very pigmented. Um, I really like it a lot. It's like a peachy browny pink. The only thing, this is a matte lip color and it takes a very long time for this to set in matte. I would even go so far as to say that you have to apply it in thin coats for it to set because if you just put a whole bunch on at once, it won't set and it won't ever go matte. But I do like it a lot. The next place I bought a crap ton of beauty products from is Jet. Now. This is like an online website. You have to be a little careful on this website. I bought some higher end products on here like by the bomb, but there were some higher end products like Urban Decay for example, where they were selling the Urban Decay palettes for more than Urban Decay was selling them for. So you just got to be careful and like do your research, but if you do it right, you can get things for such good prices. It's insane. So I have this huge box of stuff. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go right now. The first thing I got is Reviva Labs Rosewater Facial Spray. And I've seen this used as basically like a makeup setting spray or a toner. I do like the product a lot. However, the packaging is terrible. This spritzer thing like shoots the water at your face. It doesn't mist. I did purchase a little mister from Ulta so that I can mist my face. Next I got Now Solutions 100% Pure and Natural Rosehip Seed Oil. Okay, this whole bottle, this is one fluid ounce, was only 
and I use this after I wash my face. I kind of use it instead of a moisturizer. I only put a very, very small amount all over my face, but I feel like it helps with my acne. I got two sets of face wipes. These are the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes in Night Calming. I do like these a lot. However, if you have sensitive skin, I would not get the scented kind. I would get the like regular plain ones. I also got the Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Hypoallergenic Facial Wipes. I do like these also, but they're not as good as the Neutrogena ones. Next is the Neutrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. I've heard this was good, wanted to pick it up and try it. Next, I got the Mint Julep Face Mask. I really like this face mask. It is so cheap and so good. I can't even fathom it. Next, I got this huge tub of the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay, and this is basically the same as the Mint Julep Mask. It's like powdered clay, if you can see that. And you mix this with vinegar, um, apple cider vinegar, and you can apply this as a face mask. As to why I bought both of these, I don't know, I'm crazy. I just like to try multiple products from different companies that do the same thing. Next, I got this Flower Perfecting Primer. I've heard people rave about this. I heard this primer was discontinued and I wanted to try it. I did find it. Um, it's alright. I don't have anything to rave about, but it's an okay primer. Okay, so basically the entire reason I made this order was because I found this set of perfume on the website for pretty cheap. This is the full set of the Ralph Lauren Big Pony perfume collection. So there's actually four different scents. They're so cute. Um, I liked all of the scents. I've been wanting these for months and months, but I refuse to spend like money on expensive perfumes. I finally just decided to give in and get a beauty blender. I got this for like $12. The beauty blender is totally worth the hype. It's like changed the way that I put on makeup. And everyone said these things years ago and I believe them now. And the last two things that I got from Jet is the Balm Down Boy Blush. It's kind of like a pinky mauve blush. I love it. It's beautiful and silky and pigmented and it's wonderful. I love it. And I also got the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. And the last place I went to is Marshalls. You might have seen this in other videos. This is the Cebu Beauty Sea Buckthorn Nourishing Facial Cream. It is a really nice um, moisturizer and at Marshalls it was very cheap and I love the packaging. I don't know if this is like a high-end brand but it's like frosted glass and it has a pump. Um, I just really like this, it's great. Next is this Avalon Organics Cleansing Milk. It smells really weird, but this cleans your face without like over cleaning it. Like you don't get that squeaky, tight, dry feeling after you clean with this. This is like a cleanser and a moisturizer in one. It is awesome, I love it. I feel like it's been helping my skin um, and my acne. I really do. Like, I've been using this product uh, almost every night. Okay, I got two makeup brushes from Ollie and Olivia. I've This says, designed in Australia. So I've never heard of this brand before. The packaging is so cute. Oh, it's so pretty. Anyways, I got the foundation brush, which I've been using a lot. It's like... A duo fiber kind of tapered flat foundation brush and it's so soft and it's just really good like I've been using this um, to put my primer blend in my primer and also my foundation and I've been doing it every day and this brush I haven't really used yet this is the angled blush brush these were only five dollars each okay guys that is everything for my massive drugstore haul I'm a shopaholic um, but I also got a really good deal on all of this stuff and this has been collecting for like 
probably the last two months. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I hope it wasn't too long. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye. So I have, okay, I'll just do this side. Why do I just ramble? I think this is like a one pound jar or something. Hey, there's no pump. It's just an open bottle, which is very scary. Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to get this simple drugstore wedding makeup look. So if you're in a bridal party or you're attending as a guest, I 